Hey, good morning, you too. How you guys doing? Saturday morning. Uh, you know what I'm getting ready to do? I'm gonna go hit up some yard sales. Uh, I think there's, I don't know, there's probably six or seven in my town here. I don't plan on traveling anywhere real far today. I didn't see anything on Facebook Marketplace for estate sales, anywhere around here at least. So, uh, yeah. So, I uh, just went by the bank. Gonna run by that usual spot I always talk about and pick up the yard sale signs and put them in the yard sale treasure map app. And uh, we'll get going. Oh, somebody almost ran out in the street here. All right. So, if I uh, find anything good, I'll make sure to show you guys on the way, but otherwise, we'll show you when we're ready. You need on the games? Uh, what do you say? About two? I don't know. Two piece? Okay. Okay, that'd be fine. And then five piece. bucks all together? Or you said They're one dollar? Okay. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, eight dollars. No, I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it.
Are the pajamas a dollar a set? Yeah. Okay. Good, are you gonna get 10 on this? And what'd you need for this little guy? A dollar. Dollar, that'll work. <clears throat> well, I appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, have a good day.
still into Peppa Pig? Question mark. You need for the hat? Oh, Evan, is that your hat? Uh, yeah. How much? Two. Two bucks. So we got three. I'm gonna make eight, nine, eleven. Okay. Oh, I forgot to ask. There's a little uh, Lego, like suitcase looking thing over there. How much you need for that one? The, one, the red one on top? Yeah. Okay, hold on, baby. We have 1350. Yeah. So, you know what? let's just go 15 and give the rest of this little entrepreneur oh, here. And there you thank go. You. All right. Thank <laughs> you. Have a good day now. That's not my car. <laughs> All right, hey guys, so I got back from my yard sale. Uh, I'm gonna show you everything that I have. Uh, so it's all in all total, I spent uh, around 60 bucks, a little bit less than that, I think. Uh, so I found a lot of good stuff. Uh, a couple of things I'm really excited about. So let's get going on that. So one of the first sales I went by, um, I found a couple of Disney plushes. Uh, it's a Mickey Mouse Disney plush. So yeah, I'm honestly I really pass a lot of these up uh, because I don't know I don't know much about them and I just don't like dealing with it to be honest with you. But I see a lot of people selling Disney stuff and especially the plush uh, on online on e on eBay. So uh, I decided to pick a couple of these up, see what they can go for. They were a buck a piece. Uh, another sale. I found this little. Uh, I don't know this might be from a movie but it's a little car it's like a thunderbird i think uh the date on the back of ford yeah ford thunderbird the brand is corgi and it's from 1980 but it's a nice little car they only want a dollar for it. the trunk opens that kind of stuff but it's got a little guy with a pistol sitting off the side obviously yeah you can't buy cars too much like that anymore uh, but i have to look this up do some research on it and see what it's from well, i wanted a buck for that I uh, went to another sale. Go ahead and do this stuff here. Uh, this little Star Wars hat. Uh, I think it was two dollars for that. That'll do pretty well. Get one at two fifty for this Lego case. Uh, it's got a bunch of Legos on the inside here. Um, I didn't really care too much about the inside of the, the Legos, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, there's a guy on that I follow on TikTok, uh, Crispy Toys. Um, he does a lot of Lego stuff, so I'm gonna watch some of his video. But he he'll find a lot of these pieces and put them together and then sell them, you know. So if I got a lot of certain kind of piece, then I'll just kind of group them together and then sell them individually. And then I know, I mean, there's like a little keychain thing in here. Whoops. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna sort through them. I'm gonna find the people and the legs and that kind of stuff because these sell on eBay by themselves, like three or four dollars a piece just for like the guy. So we're gonna do some sorting and that kind of stuff, but really I bought this because it's a cool little Lego case for $2.50. Uh, once all that emptied out, I'll sell this case separately. I bet I can get 10 or 15 bucks for this probably. So, um, but yeah, so that wasn't a bad deal. $2.50 or $2 for that. Uh, let's see, another yard sale I went to. I uh, had this, 
lure that's still new in a package. Uh, she wanted five bucks for it, but I said a dollar. And then she said, well, at least do two because it's brand new, so I'll do two dollars. But I'd be willing to bet this isn't five dollars brand new. I was hoping to just get it cheap. Uh, I'll probably just sell it for a couple bucks, or I might save it if I find some other fishing stuff and a lot it together or something else. So we got that guy. She had these old blow molds. Blow molds. Uh, <laughs> so Christmas decorations. These do good on eBay. I gotta look up exactly to see how much these sell for, but you wouldn't think these would sell for much, but they do. Uh, these old style stuff, um, they do go for for a little bit of money. So she wanted five dollars for the pair, two dollars fifty cents each. So that's not bad on that. Uh, she also had this. It looked like I opened it up and it looked like I saw the plastic in it, but it says nine family games in one. And it's a nice little checkerboard, chessboard kind of thing. She wanted five bucks for that. So. Uh, I'm gonna check that out and look see if it looks good, but I mean That might be something I wouldn't consider keeping because uh, we like to have little uh, games and game nights with family and that kind of stuff So we'll check that out This uh, Ninjago Lego set Wanted two bucks for it. it says never used and it's already opened uh, All the bags of stuff is still in here. that have not been broken looked it up on eBay and they sell between uh, like 25 35 close to 40 bucks for a big set like that so went ahead and took the 10 bucks deal on that uh let's see here found some cool action figures some old action figures and i've sold something similar to this a while back uh but some star trek uh they had them listed four bucks a piece next generation uh, i didn't watch too much of that show i saw a little bit of it when i was younger star trek uh this might be next generation also i have no idea She's a doctor, I think. I think she's a doctor. I don't know. Uh, another, uh, let's see, Lieutenant Commander Jadzia Dax. Uh, so this is another Star Trek person still in the box, in the package. And then this is pretty cool, Gladiators. This is Jet from the Gladiators. I didn't know they even had action figures. Uh, but I do remember watching that show. And it was a great show, the old one. So... All the pieces and everything still in the package. Uh, they had four bucks each on those. And then I've sold toner like this before and I sold it for a pretty decent amount of money. Two bucks for this brand of toner. It's like a off brand, but still it's four uh, different types of, uh, I wanna say HP printers. Uh, still in the package. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like there's nine toners in this box. Uh, they wanted two bucks, so all together we had 16, we had 18. I asked if they would just take 15 for everything, and they said yeah. So five items at three bucks a piece, not too bad. Uh, this had pretty good sold comps, so around 20 bucks. And those Star Trek toys, I assume I'll be able to get 10 to 20 for each of those. So uh, the one that I sold similar to it, I think I sold around 10 bucks. I mean, I haven't looked them up yet, so maybe they're more than that, maybe they're less than that, we'll see. Uh, one of the last yard sales I went to had the old uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator game um, for uh, for Windows, his PC DVD game. So I was only a buck, so I figured, what the heck, and we'll try that out. Um, and then we had Pokemon. This looks like a DS case, and I didn't realize when I bought it, and I should have checked that the zippers broke on it. So, which is not that big of a deal. Uh, but Pokemon is really hot right now, so uh, she wanted two bucks for that case, so I bet I could still sell it even with a broken zipper. And I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, I bet a lot of people don't know what this is. So this is, it looks like a mouse. Uh, it's actually a cat. I forgot the actual name of the device. Oh, it's a Digital Convergence Cat Obstacle Reader. So have you seen those little square boxes where like you're opening a magazine or you see me everywhere nowadays like now hiring and it's called a QR code it's like a black and white square box that's pixelated right and then you can hold your phone up to it scan the code and it takes you to the website it takes you to wherever they want you to take to well before phones had the uh, technology to do that this little thing was a QR reader so if you're reading your magazine at home you'd have this hooked up to your computer via serial cable and then it's like a little infrared light and then it would scan um, the QR code or it would scan a barcode or something like that. 
So, yeah, getcat.com. But I just thought this is really neat. She only won 75 cents for it. And I think it's funny that it looks like a mouse, but it's actually a cat. So it's like, looked it up on eBay. They sell for around 10 bucks a piece. Uh, but I get geeky geeky with little nostalgic things like that. Like I, I've only seen this not never in person, just like on videos. All right, and the last bit is, oh, I almost forgot. I'll do this first. Uh, but this is kind of cool. This is Nickelodeon Suites Resort. I guess they got to go to that resort near Universal Studios. Um, and it's a Ninja Turtles bag. It looks brand new, like it's never been used. I only want a dollar for that. Uh, this is really cool. Ninja Turtle stuff sells pretty well. Okay, and then I got a bunch of games. And I love, I love selling games. Um, especially if they sell for a lot of money. So, uh, But some of these games they wanted a little bit higher price for, and I paid up for them if it was a PS4 thing. Uh, but this is a PS4 game. Only wanted a buck for it. 2K19. Um, Battlefield 4. It's still in the plastic. Never been opened. Five bucks. This is a Epic Mickey for the Wii. And I thought I heard somebody online say that these go for something. I'll have to look them up again, but it's only a dollar. Also, the lady had a Wii Sports Resort. I was super excited. Marked for a dollar. Or maybe it was four dollars or something like that. But still, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort is really hot right now for the Wii. I don't really understand why. Open it up. No game inside. Gotta love my luck. Um, Minecraft Season 2 Story Mode. Two bucks for that. Uh, then just a couple of older games she wanted two bucks a piece for. There's P PS3 game. Uh, Assassin's Creed. I'll probably lot these two together. And then this mag game. Don't know much about a military type shoot 'em up game. That kind of thing. So, yeah, lots of cool games. A lot of those, uh, you know, some of them not going to be big money. The other ones might be, you know, I might be able to get over 10 bucks, 15 bucks. So, uh, but I like selling games. They're easy to pack, they sell pretty well. Uh, so, that, that's a lot of fun there. But that's all I have. So yeah, I'll probably combine um, my shopping videos and that kind of stuff when I was sourcing. Um, my what sold and everything too from this past weekend. Probably put out this video maybe come Monday, something like that, maybe Sunday if I have time. But thanks for coming by the channel and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. All right guys, we're at Thursday evening. I've got one sale going out tonight. Uh, I sold a Funko Pop. And not the Aquaman one. Oh, I can maybe get it from the bottom. Let's do it this way. It's this, yeah, it's the Flash Funko Pop. It's got the Jim Lee t-shirt with it. I got a bunch of these at uh, from GameStop.com. They're running a sale uh, for these for $10. So I bought a whole bunch of them, well, six, seven, I don't know how many I bought, uh, but uh, for about 10 bucks. And I sold this for $17.99 plus shipping. Uh, I was hoping to get close to 30 for these, but uh, it looked like as soon as they, I bought them, a lot of other people bought them, and did the same thing I was doing, to kind of saturized the market a little bit. Uh, so yeah, but I, I made eight bucks on it, so not too bad. Okay, we're Friday evening. Uh, I sold another beer stein. I'll tell you what, these beer steins did a lot better than I thought they were gonna do, and they're selling a lot faster than I thought they would, which obviously is always nice. Uh, if you remember, watch my past videos. I bought six Anheuser-Busch Collectors Club beer steins for $15. So I'm into these for $2.50 each. Uh, I just sold this one, so I have two more there. Uh, but this one sold for $19.99 plus shipping, and it's going overseas. Uh, like I said, these are doing pretty good. I've profited now with this being sold uh, $65. Uh, oh, no, wait. Yeah, 65 bucks, I think, around there that I profited. So, And I still have two more to sell, and they're selling for about 20 bucks a pop. So keep your eye out for those. That's pretty nice. All right, next item is in here. I sold this Boston Brewers clock. This is a pretty neat-looking clock. I mean, it's plastic. It's got the quartz thing in the back. You just pop a battery in there, and it works and everything. Uh, it's not in the best shape, but it's not like it's in terrible shape either. This will look great in the garage. Uh, something like that, but uh, anyway um, This sold for $19 plus shipping. I got this at a goodwill. I think I paid three dollars for it And the last item going out tonight uh, is a couple of beer cans I got from an old beer can lot not the newest one uh, A couple of exports or I mean, this one. I know is at least some export uh, So this can 
and the Rhinelander here. Uh, so I'm into these for 26 cents. They sold for $3 plus shipping. All right, I just finished my listings. I finished packing my stuff, literally getting ready to walk upstairs and I sold one more item. This happens all the time, super weird, but it happened again. Sold this puzzle here. Uh, it's brand new still. Found it at Goodwill. Paid two dollars for it. Sold for eleven dollars and seventy-five cents plus shipping. All right, so Saturday morning, first item going out was this vintage St. Louis Blues winter coat. Uh, I got this at a yard sale a while back. Um, I think I paid for four items. I paid ten dollars. Uh, so yeah, I'm into this for not very much around three bucks, I guess maybe a little bit under that um, But I sold for thirty four dollars and forty nine cents plus shipping going overseas All right next item I sold was this bass hat angler hat. Uh, it's a strap bag It's actually a really nice hat. I got this at Goodwill for two bucks uh, Sold for nine dollars and nineteen cents plus shipping All right Sunday night. So I've got three orders so far going out from this past weekend and today. Just picked this up this weekend at a yard sale, paid $1 for it. Uh, sold same day for $9.99 plus shipping. Next item going out was a Ninja Turtle cassette tape that I also purchased this weekend. And if I can get it up here without spilling anything. Maybe I can do that. It's right here. And close this. Boom. That was so easy. All right. Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. The soundtrack from the movie. Uh, this sold for, I paid, what did I pay for this? Oh, this was part of a bulk deal. This was last weekend. Uh, bulk deal that I paid with a whole bunch of stuff. Paid fifteen dollars for those uh, inline skates and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, so, but I sold this for four dollars and forty nine cents plus shipping. And last item going out was a good sale. Uh, I picked this up at a yard sale this past weekend. Sold same day. Uh, well, actually, an extended to uh, yesterday or to, uh, early today. But I uh, said complete set, not put together yet, and it was one bag was open, but that's it. Little bit of damage <clears throat> to the box on the other side, and the box was opened, uh, but I paid ten dollars for it, and this sold for ninety dollars plus shipping, going overseas to Great Britain. Hey, all right, guys, thanks for coming by the channel today. I appreciate it. Hope you had a great weekend, and uh, get ready to start a fresh new week here. Got to get back on the grind uh, tomorrow, so uh, I'm gonna finish packing up my stuff, putting my labels on my orders. And uh, I'll be back with you guys early this next week. Thanks for coming by. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.